and welcome back to the journey. If you don't know, now you know Randy Underwood tore it up last episode, getting buckets in Atlanta and setting up his teammates here in Cleveland. I'm pretty sure we also have a great defensive possession. Let's see it right after this pass, an easy bucket from Dorton down low. But here it is on the get back right before the end of the game, a beautiful chase down block. I'll see everybody out there on the court. Upgrades, upgrades, upgrades. It makes every good player a great one, and here we see Randy Underwood getting his shooting traffic, ball handle, and shoot off the dribble. Objectives for this match, get one assist, force the matchup to commit at least one foul, and also have a B-minus teammate grade. There is the starting five, Randy Underwood still fighting for a spot and looking to break his single game scoring record. And here he is, Randy Underwood playing for the Washington Wizards. Now, number nine has been getting buckets, has a season high of seven points. Will we see big time plays from Randy Underwood tonight? And here we are from the eyes of Randy Underwood. Of course, on the bench still, has not really shown his ability just yet to take it to the next level. Hopefully we see some plays in this match that allows him to elevate in the coaching roster. But here it is, a quick pass now into the mid-range. Gilbert Arenas, knockdown shot. And on the court, it's about that time and a beautiful block. Easy now on the fast break, LeBron James. Wait a minute, it's Randy Underwood. Quick pass out of bounds and a quick realization that it's the NBA. Back at their neck, getting ready. Double jab step, looking like Roy Jones Jr. throwing it out there. Wet ball. Uh-oh, fast break, in and out, don't forget the shake. Looking for the layup, will he make it? Of course not, gotta hit the gym before he swishes it. And what time will it be? Great layup attempt, and of course, Interior defense has been an issue here in Washington, and the issues remain. Now out to the three-point line. Is that Kyle Lowry? I'm not sure if that's Kyle Lowry, but it might be playing for Houston. I thought he got drafted by Toronto, but I could be mistaken. And the play of the game over a seven-footer. Randy Underwood cutting to the lane, slashing and dashing. Backdoor cut. Better watch out for the man or you could be getting torched. Make sure you're in good hands here. Washington defense is a staple of the team. Randy Underwood, the six foot eight frame, bumps the man enough to lose his dribble. But of course, bounce pass and one more. Randy Underwood on the fast break. Another bucket. And here we go with a Sprite Slam Cam. Off the glass, rebound in JaVale McGee. It seems right now that nobody down low wants to play defense, but they have no issues hitting the boards to get their own bucket. But a quick defensive play and a great one at that. Now on the fast break, Gilbert Arenas looking for the pass up and Randy Underwood looking for his shot. Getting looked away now and looking for the shot in the corner has to be off. Looking for his own now. A second opportunity has the man jumping mid-range. Pull up. Off. I don't know what it is. Is it double rimmed all of a sudden? Who knows in the second quarter? And it looks like nobody can make it. Who knows what the situation is here in Washington? Hopefully things change. And a quick pull up. We've seen it multiple times. An easy shot for John Wall. And this game is nearing the final, final moments of the third quarter. Put your fours up with a quick pull up, Jay. Disappointing and of course, looking like goofballs on the rebound. We're gonna have to fight harder if we wanna win more games. What's good, everybody? Hopefully you've been enjoying. Just here breaking the fourth wall to say what's up. Glad to be making YouTube videos once again. And I'm going to let Randy Underwood take it away with the presser, live from Washington, D.C. So uh, this loss 
makes, what, three games in a row? What's going on with the team at the moment? That's why we play 82 games. I mean, what can you say? Teams have streaks. Teams have slumps. We're just in a slump right now. We'll bounce back. I'm not at all worried right now. I mean, what an answer from Randy Underwood. He knows what time it is. Let's not fret over these matches in the very beginning. Let's worry about those in the very middle of the season and at the end, which is the playoffs. Here we see Coach talking to the players now in the locker room and getting them ready to possibly win their second season match. Hopefully it comes to fruition. We shall see in this one. Now here for the tip off, it is time the Charlotte Bobcats versus the Washington Wizards. Automatically on the bench, no surprise. It's not our first rodeo, so to speak, but here it is. I don't know if it's gonna be a wild one, but a quick pull up and a beautiful look. Just no luck on the release dropping for him. In that small forward now, it's yours truly. Randy Underwood, oh, and he tries to play it looking like LeBron James on Gerald Wallace. You might know that name, and of course, if you don't, all pro player and a bucket getter. On the quick backdoor cut, and you gotta stay alive. Cue to Bee Gees. I don't wanna get copyrighted, so you will not be hearing that, but there it is, a quick cut, and we have to stay awake and stay alive. Setting that pick for Howard now, Randy Underwood needing the bucket, pump faking, looking for a shot and jab stepping. Hey, quick hezzy and cutting to the rack with a beautiful left-handed layup, looking like a Spurs player you might know. Jogging off now and on the fast break, a quick drive. This might be his best game yet. All buckets coming from Randy Underwood. And we hear the music change now, a dramatic feel, a quick pull up and a quick block. No surprise, he's here to play defense all night. Whoa, almost catching a body bag. Cue to Hearst, almost needed to get him out of here. But we hear that music queuing up and we know what time it is. Hopefully Underwood can let it fly. Knockdown. No surprise there. But it might be time for the magic. It's neck and neck in the first quarter, 10 to 10. The next play could be a momentum booster and we shall see who will make the play. Wallace now moving it back to the top of the key and down low and a questionable call there. Hopefully we get to see that on the replay and maybe get a closer look at what truly happened. Wallace cutting back door once again, trying to see if the rookie Randy Underwood is prepared. And he wasn't, but a questionable call and nobody agrees with that one on the court. Everybody wants to be in the NBA, but the hard work is what makes a good player great. Knocked down from five in the low post. And it might be that time. Welcome to the NBA, rookie. Whoa, almost getting a defensive play and he makes sure to stay alive now. Down low goes the ball. They know Randy Underwood is a clamp, so they don't want to go to him. And what kind of defense was that? But we get the ball back now in a great effort. Just got to get a little bit better. Gerald Wallace on the pull up and turn around jumper. Hand in his face, but he doesn't care. Welcome to the league, rookie. Randy Underwood can't believe it, but good defense has to be bested by a great shooter. Sounds like Subway Surfers music in the back and we shall see if we can ride this train to a victory. Down 10 points, but it's only the second quarter and a great knockdown shot from the big man. He might be our saving grace on this team, but let me know in the comment section, should I look to get a transfer or a trade in basketball terms? 
but a great move down low to the bucket and slamming it home. You reach, someone will teach you a lesson. No surprise there, and a quick dunk teaching Randy Underwood a lesson on how to play defense. Pump faking, going left and right with the ball, and now looking for his own jumper. Hopefully he gets the look, but Heinrich on a good shot there, and a crazy putback from 31 down low. We spoke on him with the pull-up jumper, and we know he's all about business. Heinrich ticking down now the clock at the logo, goes back to Underwood, and he has to pull it up. Knockdown. I'm telling you, if you need a shot, and here it is on the replay, slow-mo. Looking like we cut into a commercial break. I would put an advertisement in right about now, but I'm not sponsored just yet. Somebody will have an opportunity one day, I'm sure. But here it is down low on Gerald Wallace all game. It's been him versus Randy Underwood. Driving to the basket, goes behind his back, and he slams on him. Mom and there goes that man. You better watch out down below, youngster. That's what Wallace told him on the way up. And on the way down, he gave him a bill for holding his nuts. Disrespectful, but we have to come back. And there it is, a quick bucket down low, cutting this lead to 14 points. It sounds like a lot. And truly, when you think about it, it is. But you cannot think about the losses and the wins and the games where you're down, you have to think about the ones where you can win. And these are these moments. You might be down double digits, but a few misses can lead to a few makes. And here it is, a quick fast break, beautiful left-handed layup, breaking out some pizzazz on that ass. Now top of the key, having to get out there on, oh yeah, you know who that is. Don't even gotta mention his name. But if you don't know, here it goes. Steven Jackson on Randy Underwood in a quick as he cross. We've seen it. Knockdown. Mid-range change. And here it is, a closer look now. Pulling up a three-pointer in the corner. Big time shot, Randy Underwood. The lead now only six points. Will we win? Will we lose? And after that three, cuts it down to three points. Pardon me. Randy Underwood is a big time shooter and a big time player. He knows what it means. Down three points, looking for the game. This could be his last moment. Has he crossed now in the mid range? And a crazy put back from Yi Jen Lee. That could be his name. I could be incorrect. No disrespect if I pronounce that incorrectly, but I gotta get that dialed in. But here we go. The final moments down six, three points left. And Randy Underwood pulling up a shot. Wet ball. Let's go. We know what time it is. He's a shooter when it counts. And here it is down three points. And what? Heinrich. Better watch out for that man, Steph Curry. Never knew he was a white man. But shooting like that, you cannot tell the difference. 61-61 when they benched him. And of course, a loss by seven points when they take him off the court. Disappointing to see that. But Randy Underwood has some things to say. And then after he's done, I will be back to close out this episode of The Journey. Just want to say thank you very much for tuning in. And I'm going to let Randy Underwood take it away. Frustrating, man. Really frustrating. The fans deserve better than this. First and foremost, we gotta take care of business here at home, you know? If we can't do that, we can't expect to do much of anything in this league. We've got some serious work to do to keep this from happening again. Do you see what I see? Like a Christmas carol. It might be that time to upgrade once again. And I'm pretty sure 
I thought about it for a little bit, and I think I went with consistency. I'm lying. I went ball handle to 65. And also, my agent told me something, and his loud ass might come in here, actually, so it depends. I'm kind of doing this live. If he comes in, okay. He told me in the last episode, Randy Underwood, at this point in his career, had an opportunity to be traded. We saw the Lakers were interested in him. And look who's at the top of the NBA.com power rankings. The Trailblazers, Timberwolves, Knicks, Hawks, Clippers, Warriors, so on and so forth. But the Trailblazers, that's who we're looking at right now because that's who originally drafted them. So I'm thinking Randy Underwood has to put Trailblazers first. Second, we went Lakers. And the third, I left it none. Honestly, if we don't get moved, that's perfectly fine with me. I just want to clarify with everybody that I want to get back to the Trailblazers, not because they're doing good, that's a pro, but because this is the original team that Randy Underwood was drafted to before I lost my save. All right, everybody, just wanted to wrap that up, and that's pretty much it, y'all. So, with that being said, Thank you so very much for tuning in. If you enjoyed, feel free to drop a like down below. Comment something you want to see in the next one. Something that you might have enjoyed. Something that you really didn't like. Whatever you feel like saying in those comments, feel free to engage. I will respond back to you. I try to respond to everybody that shows good support. And I just want to have a nice positive environment in those comments. So if you see somebody hating on me, it's okay. It's okay. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. And if you stayed to the very end of this video, this is for you. Thank you very much for supporting. Stay safe. Take it easy, everybody. Peace out. Until next episode.